Okay, Yo, so what's up, beautiful people? Thank you so much again for stopping by to the team. Brian, we are here in the soup working, and uh, it's a beautiful evening. We're having our drink here, some banana milkshake, one of Malik's favorite, I think, now. So thank you so much for stopping by. If you've not subscribed, do subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button. Like our videos. Don't forget to comment down in the comment section. So we are going to have a conversation with Malik about what you need to know about a FIFA World Cup that is scheduled here in Qatar in a few coming months and um, we have observed that a lot of people are coming into the country and uh, in one way or the other they are being confused because of uh, maybe the culture shock yeah. because of uh, how the place is they don't know where to start from so we are going to help you identify like what you need step by step so we are going to have a conversation here and I hope at the end of the video guys you're going to like our conversation exactly. welcome Malik yeah thank you guys see I was even supposed to do my intro but this guy He's a very bad guy. Yeah, uh, so guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel also. Yeah, my name is Malik Stelin and uh, yeah, you can check my channel sometimes. Subscribe and let's conversate sometimes. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's been a while since I met my brother and yeah, yeah he he's a he's a very nice guy, I think. Yeah, so so uh, back to what he brought up, uh, asking about um, uh, or asked to discuss about uh, the kind of things you would need to know about this upcoming FIFA World Cup. Yeah, so uh, I think. There is one thing that I, I'm, I'm, uh, I think I'm liking so far is, is the kind of attention Qatar is receiving now from almost almost the whole world, you know, which is um, quite amazing because I'm comparing back back in um, 2017, 2018, no, nobody even wanted to hear about Qatar. Whenever you mention Qatar, people are like, where is Qatar? So you need to use Dubai as a care of, you know, yeah. you need to be like, ah, that country which is closer to Dubai, ah, right. it's same like Dubai, but now, shit, you don't need to say anything about Dubai too. Um, get people's attention onto Qatar. Qatar is is, is well known now. Uh, like I, I mean, if you if you ask me, yeah. yes. Yeah, honestly, for me, I've, I've uh, uh, to support what Malik has said. Since I've been here for almost three, four, close to four years now, I have never seen that much people or a, a lot of people coming into the country like now. Like uh, the past one month or two mm. months, a lot of people have been coming in, and uh, it can be experienced like. You go around, you meet people from different countries. countries. You can clearly tell that they are coming here for World Cup for the or World they are coming here for yeah, FIFA exactly. because of how they are dressed. They look like more a footballer fans. Mm. So, what do you need to have? What do you need to carry? What do you need to know about Qatar? We will start with parking. We are not going to talk about visas and everything. That okay. one maybe okay. we can do it in another video. We will start yep. with what you need to pack. Mm -hmm. Number one, you have to know the weather of Qatar. Qatar exactly. is hot. Like now, it's very hot. It's super hot. Uh, yeah, and we have winter. And I think. We, uh, the World Cup will happen towards the winter time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you Somewhere have to... Around November. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think uh, if you are coming earlier for those who will stay like four months to World Cup, you have to carry like light clothes. Mm -hmm. You will do with a, a short, with short a vest pants. or some yeah, exactly. a light t-shirt. Yeah, and for those who will come towards the World Cup, you will now adjust your clothing. Mm, get yeah. some sweater, yeah, get, yeah, some... get some heavy jacket, mm, you have jackets. some uh, heavy sweater. Gloves, even if necessary. Yeah, because sometimes, yeah. you know, the hands get to freeze. True, true. Yeah. And uh, inside the stadiums, you know, they are very mm. cold because of the AC. Yeah, exactly. So you have to exactly. have that. Exactly. And uh, generally, don't carry a lot of things. I, I don't think they are yeah. necessary. Yeah, guys, so you can check. Uh, I made a video yesterday about uh, the packing essentials, things you might want to pack um, or things you might want to put in your backpack. Yeah, so um, he will leave the link in the description. So if you want to check that video out, you know, um, I think most of the things you'll be carrying from your country to this place, I think we have almost all of them here and they come in cool prices. They're not that expensive. So I think you, you just need to um, travel light, you know, so uh, most of the things you can get here from any supermarket, from um, city center or even now, Palace Vendome, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So there are a lot of uh, oh, malls here that yeah. you can get um, most of the things that you want to um, fly around with, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, done with the parking. So that is what you need generally. And uh, carry your chargers. For those who are coming from America, I've, uh, I've had, uh, I've been working in the hospitality industry. They get a challenge in that the, the chargers here, all the port uh, for charging here are different. So different. you have to carry the three, Mm. The three, uh, like a multi socket yeah, or yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, leave alone your American type. You're going mm. to find it very hard to get <laughs> exactly. a, a socket that will fix your American type. And uh, yeah, for the charger. And uh, something I will also want to say is 
for those who, who do with the sunscreen or the, the, it's called what the sunscreen cream or what? Yeah, yeah, sunscreen cream. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you have to carry it, carry it because of the sun also, mm. uh, because most of places are open here in Qatar. The moment you walk out, you're going to feel the sun. Feel Even the if heat. you walk out from it's your door, hot. you're going to feel the sun. So I do with that also, and. Um, to add on top of it, also think that you you don't have to carry like water. I've seen people carrying water all the way from your country. You, know, you get fresh water here in the supermarkets and yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I would I would advise anyone to um travel heavy. You know, just like I said, your your luggage shouldn't be more than 32 kg, I think, and then your um your your backpack, like the school bag, you hang behind you shouldn't be more than 15 kg, I think. Yeah. So um for you to um ignore um. For you to not get more charges on your on your luggage, you just need to travel light, and then yeah, that's that's just it. Yeah. yeah another another thing I would love to add. Don't have uh, there are some people who have this expect, expect, uh, expectation. Mm. I've been um, I've been talking to some people, and they're like they want to get a, a tourist visa for the World Cup. No. Then they come here to work. Mm -hmm. You see, you're not going to work with that visa. I would like to advise if you want to come and you know do like a benchmarking, you see how to find a job, then you go back home better. But if you are coming here with high hopes that you're going to get a, a job and start working immediately, guys, forget about mm -hmm. that. It's don't not don't, going to don't even like try. That. Even though there are many um, job opportunities around so many places right now, yeah. I would advise you to um, look for a job before you get here. Don't 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 be like ah because it's World Cup. I know most of Africans are like ah because it's World Cup. They are just trying to. Um, come into the country, hopefully they can get a job. No, you need to get a job first before you come here or you need to have a link up here, someone who can promise you a job before you even get here. Very true. Yeah. And I think sure. they are done with volunteer or oh, to volunteer or something. I think they are done with it. Like yeah, the, the it. yeah, the volunteer registration is actually done now, but uh, the train the trainings are still going on. Yeah, the training is ongoing. Yeah, for, yeah, I've been yeah. having these questions from people like, I want to you know, how, know how to register for volunteer. It's on my channel as well. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's done now, it's done now. Yeah, and then uh, I'll keep people posted if in case um, they need more people. I think uh, it's supposed to be 40,000 40, volunteers and it's, it's, it's almost full, you know. Yeah, it's, it's yeah people are still full. pending. I've people are still seeing it online yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, people are still pending. And yeah. then, yeah, make sure to get your tickets on time. I think the, um, the first sale is done, second sale is also done. So we're just waiting for the third sale. Hopefully, uh, when they release a the date, uh, you'll get it on my channel for sure, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And another challenge that I would like to address, when you're booking an hotel, know the location you're booking. Mm, you yeah, can get yeah, an sure, hotel sure. far, you think far. it's inside door. So you have to make sure like it's inside door. If you really want Don't to think because it's cheaper. Definitely yeah. the cheaper ones will be far from yeah. the city. Right? Yeah, yeah, and you're going to get it a challenge in terms of traveling, traveling. and all those things. So yeah, just there, make sure there might be shuttles. Door. I mean, buses uh, at, at um, hotels that are designated for the World Cup. Yeah, because I read that online. Yeah, so it's definitely- It's going to be tricky because a lot of people will come. Definitely exactly. you have to wait for longer. Exactly. Because I remember when uh, there were some matches, I think Olympics or what, mm. in uh, Algarafa Stadium. Okay. And people had that challenge. Couldn't leave me. I had to wait even for a taxi, oh. Uber, for almost two yeah, hours. Yeah, same thing happened to me during yeah, the yeah, Arab yeah, Cup. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember. So you have to consider yeah. that. The buses are still not big, enough. So it's going to be a challenge. Crowded, yeah, 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 trust me. It's already full. I think they were expecting um, over um, 2.1 million, um, I mean, around November, but now it's like, it's, it's full. It's full, the, 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 the hotels are full. That, 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 I, I think that is why they even introduced um, 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 this one, uh, the one that uh, you can host your family or your friend. Yeah, yeah, so if yeah. you have an accommodation, you would want to um, host a friend or a family, you can just uh, register online. And then, yeah, you and can- Airbnb be kind of. Yeah, fun. yeah, exactly. So you can uh, host your friends or family who wants to come here. Yeah, I think yeah. that is, that is um, such a cool in uh, initiative, you know. Yeah, yeah, so let's talk about inside Doha. Now you, you have traveled, you've got your visa, everything is ready, set, you are inside Doha. So what do you need to know about Qatar? Qatar has all its own uh, culture and uh, laws, you know. And exactly. They strictly follow them. Yeah. And uh, the country being secure and everything, police are almost patrolling almost everywhere. everywhere. So make sure that, that you are in one line thing that with I like law. so much about them. Very true. Security is uh, super tight. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's, uh, it, it has been addressed like for us here in Qatar, they don't allow like you walking outside with alcohol, drinking outside oh. in public. These are, there's some designated areas for that, maybe in hotels or clubs, you know, but they don't allow it outside, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, other things that you have to know is, uh, I, I don't think uh, now, the, the type of wearing is that strict? I mean, uh, the clothes. Yeah, the clothes. They're not, not that strict. Not too close, but just don't expose yourself too much. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. But they are, they are not strict on that. Uh, just, just like it's, it's almost everywhere. You respect them, they respect you too. I mean, you respect their rules and cultures, they respect you too. So they say don't, don't wear skimpy clothes, don't expose your body. If you don't do that, yeah, of course, I think everything will be fine with you. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I also know the mode of transportation. If you can get the metro, you can substitute the, the, the taxi to the metro because metro is more cheaper to cheaper. move on with. So Super you're coming, cheaper. Yeah, yeah, very cheap. And the, and, and the shuttles are free. Yeah, the shuttles are free. So That's you cool. just have to know that, you know, you may be into a, from a country that your culture to use taxi. And it's more expensive, going to cost maybe 20 or 50 or 30 real. When a metro will cost you almost free, mm. two real, mm. four real for maybe a car, mm. two and uh, floor three, uh, and the bus is for free, you know, such things. So you have to know like which mode of transportation are you going to rely on more. And that also will depend on your location. That's why we say like when you are booking a hotel, you have to know exactly which location the hotel is. Yes. And, and since I'll be talking much about the World Cup, uh, try to try as much as possible to get your hair cut. Now, this hair cut is mandatory for people within Qatar and outside Qatar. Recently, I got a comment on my channel, and someone was asking me, uh, "Is it necessary for them to get hair cut uh, if they are coming from Dubai?" I'm like, "Of course, you need to get. Even people within Qatar, we need to get the hair cut because guess what? If you get this hair cut, uh, all the metro buses are going to be free. Uh, the train stations are. Yeah, you can travel free with the, just the hair cut. You wouldn't have to be topping up all the time. You know, just imagine. So just ha get your hair cut, and also without the hair cut, you don't have access to any of the stadiums. Even though you might have your ticket, still um, th there will be zero chances for you to get into the stadiums without a hair cut. So I would suggest you try as much as possible. Now, the, um, so getting the hair cut process, you first of all need to buy your tickets. After tickets, get your accommodation, and then after your accommodation, just get your hair cut. It's on my channel. You can check it out. All the all the three processes. Malik Sterling, yeah, yeah. yeah so you can check it out. That, uh, to our description box. You're going to link the channel uh, to my, uh, Malik's channel to the, in the description box. And another thing I would like to add, I think um, the last thing that I would like to talk about is uh, food. I have said earlier that I work in the hospitality industry. There are some people who would not prefer hotel food mm -hmm. and they don't really know like how to get another type of food. Yeah. Yeah. When you're in that hotel that you have booked, just ask the reception like, where can I get the, 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 the nearest restaurant? Or can you have a restaurant number? Mm -hmm. And you can order from outside. It's going to be more cheaper. cheaper and than, you can have yeah. a lot of access, sure. uh, a lot of variety of food because mm -hmm. the, the, the hotel sometimes they can limit mm -hmm. the type of food mm -hmm. they offer. Food, so yeah. yeah, you have to know that. That's a challenge that I, I experienced with people from, the, from my place of work. Like they had a challenge. They, want, they don't want to eat the hotel food but they are forced to eat it because they don't know what to do. I think they approached me and explained to them, you can get a restaurant just walking in a few meters or few, uh, yeah, in, a, in, a, in just a few distance to get a restaurant or you get a number, number you're going to call yeah. them, you ask them the type Talabat is all over the place need. now. Yeah, Talabat yeah, also. I think they are really doing good. Very with true, Cristiano Ronaldo being, uh, be, being their brand ambassador. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, they are yeah. really doing great. Yeah, I know yeah. they are going to put it. I, I think Talabat, is it 24 hours now? Yeah, I think. But it will depend on area. There area, are some areas yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, like, yeah. like uh, I hope very soon they will extend, um, they will extend it to um, the places of Alcor. Because I think sure. recently I was in Alcor and um, I couldn't um, get any Talabat closer to me. You know, like for for instance in Doha, you can um, order a food and the delivery is free. But uh, back in, um, I mean, outside Doha, yeah, 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 I mean it's gonna, to yeah, you will have to pay extra fees. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, I think we have talked more of the things, so if you have any other inquiry, just ask us in the comment section, we're going to do a video about yeah, that, exactly. unless you have something to add. No, 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 I think that's just all for now. I will, I will um, urge each and everyone who, who is coming to Qatar to not to um, have this stigma, you know, like, uh, Qatar is boring, Qatar is this, come on, we are hosting the World Cup, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, the country yeah. is fully packed now, everything is going on super well. Feel, Listen to me. Super free. Yeah, back then when I came here, you see all these people rounding behind us. This place used to be like a ghost town, like, sorry to say, but now it's almost full. True. It feels, it feels, it feels lively, you know, I don't even feel like I want to go back to my country anymore because now I feel like I'm home. You know, I could say um, this is my second home. You know, like, it feels good to um, choose another country as your second home, you know. Very true. Yeah. And I, I don't think there's nothing you can fear. Just feel free. When you're here, feel so free. There's some, there's some, uh, I would call it, there's some, uh, I can call them false or myths and misconception mm -hmm. people passing outside there. Like, 
you don't have to hold hands in Qatar. You don't have to greet people in Qatar. You don't have to. Do you can't even say hi to ladies. Yeah, those are misconception and uh, myths. Come on, you can say hello to anyone you want to say hello to. If they say hello back, yeah. cool. If they don't if say hello don't back, say they, just keep them. <laughs> just yeah. 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 So feel feel free, man. Have fun. It's, it's, it's FIFA, and that is the purpose of FIFA, is to bring people together. You yeah, know? Exactly. So feel free. Exactly. Feel happy. Yeah. If you look behind us, there's a lot of movement of new people in Qatar. They are coming purposely for the World, the Cup. World Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So thank you so much, guys, for uh, sticking with us until the end of this video. We really appreciate. If you have not subscribed, do by clicking on that subscribe button. Join our family today, and we're really going to appreciate. Thank yeah. you, guys. There's See one more you. thing I want to say. Yeah, sure. Subscribing to someone's channel is free. You're not going to pay anything. Very free. So just, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> subscribe. Okay? Just remind me. If yeah. you want to anything to do with the FIFA for the World Cup now. Visit Malik Sanila channel. I'm going yeah, to I'm link covering, it. In I'm covering. I'm covering more of the World Cup. Right yeah, yeah, now. yeah. He's doing more of that. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. one of the volunteers here. He's going to explain to you more how to get all, all those things all done. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, that's all for just now. Um, stick and stay. Just leave any other questions you or anything you might want to know. You can just leave in the comment section, and then definitely he or I will get to um, your questions and then I'll answer them for you. Hopefully. Thank you guys. See you.